Well, these, um, no, I changed them. It's always pretty much similar colours, but I changed them this time. But... Nothing too crazy, just the standard trim. Um, just the standard kind of five week trim that I'd always get, but this time we've just got, we've got Ash, AJ Mentor, able to come down and, and give me that trim in house. So I'll be a bit more fresh, a bit more sharp on the night. One fight that's been talked about for a little while now is the Nathan Gorman fight. Is that still a fight that really interests you? Yeah, I think it's just the obvious fight, isn't it? Because me and Nathan are in similar levels at the moment. Um, and we both want to go for that British title. And we seem like the most, the two obvious candidates for that. So I think more than likely it will be me and him. Um, if it's me and someone else, then fine, not a problem. Like it's not... It's not particularly like I'm gunning for Nathan Gorman himself. It's, it's the belt I want to get hold of, and it just looks like he's going to be the most likely candidate to meet me on the other side. So if it's him, then cool, no problems. And if it's someone else, cool, no problems as well. I can't remember where I was. I think I was in the gym training or something, but I didn't look at my phone for a while. So then I came back to like loads of messages of people that had got tickets from me, asking me, like, is the show still on? Have you seen what's happened? Have you seen what's happened to the roof? Are we going to get refunds, etc., etc.? And I was, to be fair, I wasn't actually that worried. I just seemed, I thought like, although it looks quite, I think it looks a lot worse than it is. Um, I think it's not, I wouldn't say easy to do, but I think it's quite a simple process for them to fix. So, and we had, they had about a week or so to do it as well. So they're making progress. He's a pretty guy, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's good, man. It's good. Um, we're living it now, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? It's, it's been a long time coming, fight week, and um, we're only two days away now, so let's go. The zone, match room, shout out to Eddie, biggest and baddest. No, 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 no. How are you, Karim? Uh, fine, thank you. <laughs> Perfect. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. I feel chilled, man. Yeah, just got to talk a little bit. You know, talk about the fight. Yeah. One, two, 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 one, Cody here. Okay. Thanks for joining us here today in London. A great turnout ahead of a huge night of world championship boxing this Sunday at the O2 Arena in London, live and exclusive on DAZN all around the world. A huge night of boxing. Having an opponent who's going to come to win and I think he's going to be confident coming into it. He'll have seen me at my worst in the Tottenham fight and, and that isn't what that isn't what's going to be happening again. He'll be really up for it and that will bring the best out of me. 
know you're always going to bring uh, the energy to this fight, but a massive opportunity for your career. Yeah, just can't wait. All the hard work's done. It's ready now. Just another opponent to me. It's, uh, I think we've been in with better, so just there to do my job. The boxing is second to none here. The sparring I've been getting is, uh, is quality as well. You know, I've been sharing a lot of rounds with Daniel Dubois this camp. Um, Jamie, another prospect on the way through too. So really keen to get in there and, and showcase these newfound skills. And um, I'm quite confident this is going to be a career best. Never look past the opponent that's in front of me. I've still got a job to do on Sunday. So get through that and get through that okay. And then quickly look forward to bigger and better things. I've been in the ring with a lot of top guys and I've been getting a lot of good work at home. I've been staying in shape and waiting for the call, and, and now I got it, and here I am. Oh boy, thank you. Um, I think if you look at my recent performances, each fight I'm getting better and better. And the main thing is, like you say, I'm, I'm gradually maturing each fight, and I'm feeling the weight out now. So I'm going to go up through the divisions, but at a minute, light heavyweight's good enough. So <laughs> I'm going to stay there for a little while and, uh, yeah, hopefully make a name for myself. There's never been a better time to be a British cruiserweight and there's some huge fights out there for you. Yeah, most definitely, but um, my mum always told me to mind my business and right now my business is Sunday, so let's handle that. Look forward to seeing your pro debut this Sunday. I'm able to defeat him and I will show it on Sunday. Uh, I will show uh, boxing on the highest uh, level. I'm just in the best shape of my life. I'm so mentally focused and this fight has never been stopped, but on Sunday night, mate, I'm going to stop him. I'm going to break him down and stop him. Um, so first, I'm happy to, to fight in Matchroom, Matchroom Show. Maybe the, the best promoter in the world. Maybe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. I, I did like you before that. But, you know. This is a massive fight. It's a European title. Uh, you get, get this fight won and you're up there. So, you know, it's all to play for. I've had the domestic fights. I've boxed Jason Cunningham. I beat uh, Ryan Doyle for the Commonwealth. Uh, I've boxed Rhys Bellotti, who was Commonwealth champion as well. So this is the next step up, and I feel like I'm ready for this challenge. Hi, boys. Thank you. Good luck. <laughs> Turn pro with Matrim, um, of course with his brothers as well, Cal Yafai and Gamal Yafai, incredible family that have achieved so much. Uh, to be fair, whether, whether or not uh, Galai is making his debut or not, it's not totally relevant for me. All I know is that he'll be ready, uh, whatever he's experienced in the past, I'll be ready as well. And I think it's gonna be, you know, we're gonna have a war and it's gonna be a, a great contest. I'm the so-called golden boy. Uh, he's looking to knock me off my perch. Um, We've had a few upsets in Mexicans coming over recently. Um, I don't think it'll be the case Sunday, but um, it'll be a good learning fight for me. Um, and I just want to remind everyone I'll go down. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, he's coming for you, mate. He's I'll coming be. for you. I'll be out. Today I'm focusing on myself, so I'm not interested in uh, how, how hard he punches and how strong he is. Uh, I'm going to go there on Sunday, uh, I'll, do, uh, I'll do what I uh, do and we'll be celebrating then. I've had 17 fights, 14 by KO. On the weekend it'll be 18, 15 by KO. I think it's fine, everyone can say what they want about the opponent until after beating them. And then we'll be on to the next one and then we'll see what everyone says about him. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I'm a fan. Where's the, uh, where's the media stuff? Like this side of me, but like, I'm amazed. Do you want to go into the business? I don't know if I'm going to go into the business. What's up? What's up? As you can see, it's well lit outside. I just like it all cinematic when I'm playing my game. Not that I play it very often. I thought I was gonna have my debut in December. That was a, would have been in Manchester. And that would have been a great debut because Manchester looked lively. But to have it so close to home makes it all the much better, do you know what I mean? Um, by the grace of God, I've got so many people coming, um, which is a surprise to me because even though you know a lot of people, I don't bank on it like, oh, I know you, you're gonna come and watch me fight. So my tickets literally, I reckon 90% of my tickets sold out in an hour. And then the rest sold out in 24 hours and just more people just kept coming to us. So I'm just ever so grateful for the people that paid their hard money to come out and watch. Do you know what I mean? And um, Sunday I'll put on a good show for them.
Gamal Cow, um, now the G-Man. It's been said that the G-Man will be the best out of all of them. Um, time will tell, but yeah, very, very special guy, man. I've been around him, uh, training for the last four or five years, and watching him fight, um, watching him operate. Very, very cool, collected, dangerous guy. And for a little guy, he punches very hard. I'll tell you a little story, right? It was in America, uh, at a training camp, and there was a blind guy there. So that means his hearing's a bit more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Intense or like intensified? In yeah. Heightened, yeah. yeah, in heightened, that's the word. And uh, this this blind guy, I don't know his name, so I don't want to be rude, but he, um, he was allowed to operate around the training facility, right? And what he would do to see what's going on, he'd touch the ring, right? And um, we're, sitting, <laughs> we're sitting in the canteen eating. And he said, he goes, he goes, that small boxer, that small boxer, he, no, he didn't say small. He said, the Yafa, he's very powerful, very powerful guy. I was just like, how do you know that? Because we know that he's powerful, but as a blind person, you're thinking, how did, but he felt it, man. And he's a very powerful guy. He will be there like a pest for the whole 10 rounds, but I doubt it will last that long. So yeah, very, very special guy. The British fans should get behind him. Um, we've got a special talent there. Peri Peri chips, get in the car bin, mashed potato, super grains, six chicken fries. So you get four, but add an extra two. Beef right up, go in there, cruise away tomorrow, lovely. Four spice? Medium. Mm. Yeah, not too hot, you don't want to burn your mouth off. You've got to taste the chicken, haven't you? So, yeah. medium, just right. Yeah. We were saying that even at the press conference, Eddie always says it as well. He said, like, when you first joined, you were so green. He said, you're still green now, but it's only been a year, and I'm sitting four and oh, I've got my fifth fight coming up, and it's just everything. It's like I used to panic before, like going to a public workout. I was like, oh, shit, I've got to do this, got to do that. It is. You just you just realise when you when you yourself. That's the, that's when I'm performing my best and everything. I looked sharp yesterday, and I feel like I'm at my best now because my confidence is there. Do you know what I mean? And it's not new to me no more. I come in, I know everyone, I know the boys, I know the girls. It's like just crack on, do your job. Uh, we spoke to Johnny Much. He's out there sunning it up in Mexico, I believe. Mate, he's having it nice. Yeah. So we're flying to Mexico. Uh, just after my fight, so I think he's gone actually to the same place as where we're going. So I want to find out how it is and that. But um, yeah, he seems to enjoy it. He needed it. Do you know what I mean? It was a tough old fight, yeah, to be fair. And to come for a cut and he had a little niggle as well. It's hard. It was all new to him. So fair play to him, and he got the job done. And I still thought he boxed very well for the the situation. So yeah, good on him.